Uh, Jalen, what, what have you learned about playing college football these first six games? Playing college football, you know, it's what you it's what you live up for. It's what you work for, you know. Everything I expected, I'm getting out of this so far, so I'm living it. Probably you Jalen, Coach Prime always talks about the, the high school guys that they do recruit here, they expect to play right away. How, how, how much of a compliment was that for you when you first got here, just knowing that they do expect a lot out of your freshmen? Uh, you know, it means a lot, you know, just to see how the transfer guys we get and people from high school don't want to come here because of that, because they're scared of the work. And, you know, I feel like if you work, you know, they, they cannot sign anybody. So just putting in the work on it off the field, it'll take you a long way. Hey, what are the biggest things that you've seen personally from Arizona kind of going into this matchup? Uh, personally, I see they like to do a lot of man. So we're going to have to win our one-on-one -on -one matchup, you know, get open for the quarterback and catch everybody he throws us. Did you think your first couple college starts would be a running back? <laughs> uh, honestly, coming here, you know, coming to meetings, getting recruited, I want to be used like a Devo Sunday type of player. So wherever I can get the ball, like, I don't care. Just throw me the ball, give me some space to work with. How much are you enjoying that aspect? You can do both those things. I'm loving it. I'm most definitely loving it. You know, just getting the ball, knowing who's out there with me, trusting the guys around me, I'm loving it. Jordan, what, what is it that you think Shador expects out of his receivers? And how do you think you've been able to kind of gain and earn his trust over the years? Uh, he... I feel like as a plan for him, he has to trust you. You know, that's the biggest thing as a quarterback. So once he gets to trust them, you know, he just wants us to win our one-on-one -on -one matchups, make it comfortable for him back there. So as long as we win, give him the line, give him the time to make us look good. We're going to be great. You have a position group that is full of a lot of experienced guys, a lot of leaders. Do you just kind of try and act like a sponge and soak up what you can for those guys? Almost definitely. Knowing this is probably my last year with those guys, you know, I learned as much as I can from Tay, Jimmy, Trial, Will. Even Terrell, you know, I just soak up everything. All the knowledge they teach me, I know I just take it in day by day. What is the most misunderstood thing about Shador? People doesn't see the hard work he puts in. You know, they try to bash him on social media, but he's not like that. You know, he's a great man, great son, a great quarterback. You know, I feel like, honestly, the best quarterback in college football. So they don't see that. They try to bash him from what he show, what the media shows. But besides that, he's a great person. Thank you, guys. How do you feel like uh, the Bucs corners have helped your game and developed you to become a better wide receiver? Uh, most definitely. You know, coming into college, you know, high school wasn't nothing like this. I had to learn a lot of technique, just the little things, paying attention to details, you know. In these corners out here, I feel like we had the best corners in the Big 12. So, you know, they push me every day. I have to give my all every day. So that just gets me better, prepare me for what's next. Uh, anything else for Go ahead. How, much do you feel like, how far do you feel like you've come just in the first half of the season? It's just six games in, six games to go. How much do you feel like you've grown, and just where do you feel like you can get over the next six games? Uh, most definitely, you know, just not on the field, but just my wisdom and talent-wise, you know, just paying attention to the little things, like reading a corner, just reading a, being at the spot at the right time, just technique, release. You know, I learned so much just from being here from Coach Field and the other receivers in the room. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.